All right, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to uh, use Radio DJ with your Stream 101 uh, Shoutcast hosting. Uh, two things you need, uh, obviously Radio DJ and all the uh, you know requirements that it takes to install, which are going to be MySQL and then uh, .NET Framework as well. And then you also need Edcast. Um, that is going to be the uh, software that we use to get the uh, streaming going. So uh, first of all, uh, we assume you have uh, Radio DJ installed already. Uh, now we need to install Edcast and get that going as well. Uh, so you're going to want to go to Edcast's uh, download website. It's Edcast Reborn. Uh, go to Google, search for it. Uh, we'll also link it in the description. Uh, you're going to want to download Edcast standalone. Uh, so you click the link here, or we go to the downloads page uh, and download Edcast standalone. Uh, once you have that, we'll run the uh, installation wizard. Looks like this. Uh, go ahead and read through the terms of agreement. Uh, once you agree, uh, go ahead and click I agree. You want to check these two boxes for lame encoder and AAC encoder. Um, they're not legally allowed to package those two encoders, and that's what does the uh, broadcast streaming. So we'll hit next. Uh, choose where you want it to be installed at, uh, hit install, and then it'll prompt you to install the MP3, press yes. Um, you'll need to download this first one here. Uh, once you have that downloaded, we'll go back to the installer. Um, it says we need to download the plugin for AAC, click yes. We'll click encoders and tools, and then we'll click this middle, or well, second one down, live FAAC DLL for Win32. We'll download that one as well. They're going to download in zip files. You'll want to unzip them, and then uh, we'll need to move the uh, installation, or excuse me, move those DLLs into the installation folder for EdCast. All right, now we have everything downloaded and extracted. We'll start off with the lame encoder. Um, you'll see what this window looks like here. There's a lot of files in it. You only need one, and that's the lame underscore enc dot dll. You right-click that, copy it, and then we'll go to our EdCast install. Uh, mine was in C program files x86, and then EdCast. We'll go ahead and right-click, paste that there. Um, just go ahead and press continue if it prompts you. Then we'll go to the uh, the AAC encoder. Only one comes out of that folder. Uh, copy, go back to your EdCast again, paste, and you may have to click continue. Um, nice thing about Radio DJ, it works great on Windows 8 even. Uh, I'm using Windows 8. Um, unfortunately, Sam Broadcaster 4 does not work on Windows 8. Uh, however, Sam Broadcaster 2013 will. So um, that's another option as well. But Radio DJ is free and it works great. Um, so next step. EdCast is installed. We're going to go ahead and run it. Um, I always run it as administrator. It seems to have no problems when I run as administrator. So to do that, you right-click the shortcut and click Run as Administrator uh, if you're on Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8. Uh, Windows XP doesn't really have a mode for that. If you right-click, you have to go into Properties and stuff. Anyways, um, so we've got this opened up here. Uh, we need to put our encoder details in. Uh, first of all, we need to change this live recording setting to Stereo Mix. That way it'll pick up what our broadcast uh, software, which is Radio DJ, is doing. Unfortunately, what it'll also pick up is any clicks or Windows noises, stuff like that, error messages. Um, so I definitely recommend shutting off like Windows sounds and having only the Radio DJ sound uh, come out uh, into the Stereo Mixer. Uh, but that is actually something that's going to be computer specific, so uh, you'll have to do a little research on how to do that. Uh, we'll go back to our web pages here. I'll go ahead and close out of these tabs. Uh, go to the Stream 101 control panel and log in. Uh, we'll log in. We need to go to Quick Links to get our uh, encoder details. Um, it's also in an email that you got uh, when you first signed up. So first thing we'll need to do, uh, we already set it serial mix. I recommend auto connect. That way if your computer restarts or whatever, have this in a startup folder, automatically gets going. Hit encoder right click the encoder that was just created hit configure all right it's going to bring up another window and the first thing we need to do is we're configuring a shoutcast server so we need to go and choose shoutcast uh, then our encoder type we're going to pick mp3 uh, your options for shoutcast are mp3 or aac the other two just ignore those for shoutcast those are for icecast only um, Joint stereo, we'll leave that checked. Uh, bit rate's important. We'll see over here, maximum bit rate's 32, so we need to change that. 
Uh, server IP or host name is cloud1.stream101.com. Never put in the HTTP colon slash slash. Uh, 9066 is our port number. We'll go ahead and put in our password. And then mount point, you can leave blank or erase um, or just leave it. it. It doesn't matter because this is Shoutcast server. Go ahead and change reconnect seconds to one. That way, if your internet connection drops at uh, your house or at your location that your broadcast machine's at, um, just set it to one. It'll try and reconnect every one second. We'll go over to YP settings, which is the yellow page settings. We'll change this to your station name. Uh, we're going to call this the Stream 101 Tutorial uh, Station. Misspelled that. And then station description, tutorials for Stream 101. And then this is where you'll put your website. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put stream101.com. Genre, we're not really broadcasting, but pick a mainstream genre that you find at shoutcast.com. I'll just leave rock for now. Press OK. That's pretty much it. Um, there's some metadata set up uh, that, that we'll want to do. You'll hit edit. It'll pull up this here. That'll be in a different video um, for setting up the metadata. Uh, go ahead and click this, um, and it's actually uh, going to automatically try and connect. Um, it's connected, ready to go. So we'll go ahead and open back up uh, Radio DJ here, and we'll start playing a song. Uh, so you can hear that song playing. It's transferring data here. Uh, and if we go back to the overview, it's going to show that the song information is not available because we haven't set up the uh, uh, sound yet. Or, excuse me, we haven't set up metadata yet so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the audio and uh, that's pretty much all you have to do to set everything up for, uh, for Edcast and uh, using Edcast and, and Radio DJ.